Hello everyone, this is Colin from Five Properties for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is backbone cabling. The term backbone cabling comes from the TIA EIA 568C structured cabling standard. Structured cabling standard is a generic communication wiring scheme that is installed in a single building or cluster of buildings that is capable of supporting all forms of communication systems, including telephone systems, local area network computer systems, video systems, and imaging systems. A structured cabling system includes all the cabling, cable pathways, ground and bounding systems, supporting structures, and the building spaces, etc. It is based on the concept of modular subsystems that are independent yet work together to create a complete building cabling system. Each subsystem is designed and installed independently of the other subsystems. Then all of them are interconnected and work together as a single cabling system. The subsystems include work area subsystem, horizontal cabling subsystem, backbone cabling subsystem, telecom rooms, equipment rooms, and entrance facility. In this video, I will explain the backbone cabling system. Backbone cabling is a cabling that connects all of the building and campus telecom rooms together. Backbone cabling is also called vertical and the riser cabling because they are usually installed vertically in the riser shaft to connect telecom rooms together in a multi-story building. This picture clearly shows what parts that backbone cabling covers. It includes the backbone cables, such as twisted pair, copper cables, fiber optic cables, etc., the backbone cable pathways that are used to support and distribute backbone cables, such as conduits, vertical shafts, raceway, etc. The terminating hardware in the telecom room, such as patch panels, punch down blocks, etc. The grounding and bonding devices to ground the backbone cables that have metallic part in it, and the cross connections and the jumper cables to provide connections to other backbone or horizontal cables in the telecom room. The backbone cabling ties all of the different subsystems together to create an integrated configuration. The TIA EIA 568C requires that backbone cables be installed in a hierarchical star topology as seen in this picture. Each horizontal cross connect in telecom room is connected either directly to a main cross connect or to an intermediate cross connect and then to the main cross connect. Backbone cables can be defined as intra-building cables and inter-building cables. Intra-building cables connect clothes together in a multi-story building as well as clothes on the same floor. Intra-building cables are installed inside a building. Inter-building cables connect buildings together in a campus environment. Inter-building cables are installed between buildings. Backbone pathways are the cabling facilities that are designed to hold, protect, support, and provide access to the backbone cables installed between telecom rooms. Designing and installing the backbone pathway is extremely important because the pathway will always exist even if the backbone cables are changed. A well-designed and installed backbone pathway will enable backbone cables to be changed easily and with the least amount of disruption to the communication system and the cost. Several different types of pathways are shown here. Sleeve are sections of conduit that connect vertically aligned clauses in a multi-story building. Metal conduits are installed as a direct run between two telecom rooms or between a telecom room and an equipment room. The third picture shows a metal conduit that is run between two buildings. It is also called an underground pathway. Backbone cables installed in a sleeve or in a slot must be properly fire stopped after the cables are in place. Fire stopping is a process of creating a fire rated barrier that will prevent both fire and smoke from spreading between floors in the event of a fire. Fire stopping installs specialty fire rated materials into penetrations to create the new barrier. Copper cables and optical fiber cables that have any metallic elements in it must be bonded and grounded in each telecom room. As shown in this picture, a multi-pair UTP cable that has a metallic cable shield is bonded to a dedicated ground in the telecom room. This dedicated ground device is called Telecommunications Grounding Busbar, or TGB. The metallic cable shield should be bonded to the TGB using a 6 AWG insulated conductor. The TGB is in turn connected to the telecommunications main grounding busbar. The TIA EIA 568C recognizes several types of cables as backbone cables. On the copper cable side, it recognizes 100 ohm twisted pair copper cable, which includes 100 ohm and shielded twisted pair UTP cable. 
100 ohm screened foiled UTP cable and 100 ohm screen shielded twisted pair SFTP. On the fiber optic cable side, it recognizes 62.5 micron or 50 micron core multimode fiber and 9 micron single mode fiber. And lastly, the maximum distances supported the backbone cables are media dependent. The maximum distance is defined by the TIEA568C as shown in these four pictures. So there you have it. Please don't forget to visit fo4sale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.